brides, are you currently planning your wedding and you want to make it stand out like crazy? Then today we're sharing our top six 2020 wedding trends that you need to know about. Let's go. Before we get started, if you are new to this channel, I want to say welcome. Here we share everything wedding world and photography tip related. To make sure that you don't miss out on any of our new videos, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Alright guys, so we have scoured the internet. We've done our research pulling from The Knot, Wedding Wire, Wedlux Magazine, as well as International Wedding Guide. And we have brought together the top six trends for 2020 that you can use, implement, pull from to make your wedding really stand out. So the first trend that we're going to talk about is the color palette that you're picking for your wedding day. Now, Panatone comes out every year with their color of the year, but in reality, this year's classic blue fell really, really short as a trend. And while it's a beautiful color, the reality is that weddings are veering towards rich, vibrant, beautiful colors, jewel tones that are reminiscent almost of a San Antonio Fiesta, vibrant magentas vibrant yellows, vibrant greens. And these colors are being used off season. And what do I mean by that? That orange that you might find in an October wedding might actually be found in a spring wedding now paired with an unusual color combination. Rather than browns and rustic colors, it might be paired with a pink. And it might be pretty normal to find a dark, rich black paired with a mustard tone. So when you're talking about color for your wedding day and what's on trend, go for something rich, go for something vibrant, and don't be afraid to pair colors that don't normally get paired together. So our second trend that we're looking at is wedding dresses for the bride. Now, there's always going to be that traditional um, classic line of dress, but we're seeing bridal capes. We're seeing colors that um, for a while have been around on the kind of fringe and the outskirts, but we're seeing a, a bigger push into blue gowns. Um, that black gown that's been around on the fringes for a little while is being more and more prevalent um, in the fashion world. So. Don't be afraid to look at different colors, different necklines. The square neckline is something that's going to start to come into play more and more rather than the standard sweetheart or v-neck. Also, we're seeing on the back of dresses, deeper and deeper plunging, very sexy back um, versus the traditional high back that we've seen for a long time. Our trend number three is our tuxes our suits. What are the guys going to be wearing? So we've seen the traditional black tux for a long time and I don't think that's going to go anywhere. I'm a huge fan of the black tux. I do think it's going to get revamped a little bit with that velvet jacket, that velvet top, which just adds that extra layer of texture to a wedding day. In addition to that, blue suits are still going to be very impactful, um, very on trend versus your standard gray suit is on the out. I would really avoid looking at that as an option. It dates your wedding versus being on trend and fashion forward. So the next trend we're talking about is florals. And this is one of my favorite things of a wedding day because it adds that extra layer of elegance, that extra layer of texture and beauty that really makes a wedding memorable. So, first and foremost, weddings are moving more and more towards say that 10 times fast, sustainability. And because of that, floral designers are more and more eco-conscious. You're gonna see this in several ways. The first is that that floral foam that we all grew up with seeing from a florist, that's it's squishy, it's green, it's dense, you know what I'm talking about, is out because it is 
horrible for the environment. Instead, you're gonna see floral designers moving more and more to using chicken wire that can be reused. In addition to that, more and more we're seeing donations of flowers after the wedding day, that they're using everything they have and not just throwing it away after the reception, but repurposing it by taking it to nursing homes, taking it to hospitals, so that it is used for longer than just that one day. And lastly, while this was something that was um, not on trend for a while, the use of dried floral pieces within floral designs is being used more and more often now because it's more eco-friendly, because it can be used multiple times over. Things like pompous grass and other items are being used more frequently. Lastly, Meghan Markle has put her stamp on weddings with those big, giant, jaw-dropping floral installations. Those are still gonna be huge. They're still gonna be on trend this year. And I think they're just gonna continue to be a large trend moving even into next year. All right, so question of the day, which floral trend did you like most? Make sure you hit that like button and give us a comment below so that we know. So this year, as we move into design trends, some of the things from last year are gonna carry over. Some of them are not. One of the things that um, was big last year was unique ceremony setups. And while that was kind of a flash in the pan for 2019, we're not necessarily seeing it moving into 2020. However, that design experience, that immersive experience for you and for your guests is going to carry on into 2020 and beyond. Things like a signature scent that's being um, pumped throughout the venue. Things like food stations, and not just any food station, but things that are a little bit above. Imagine having a mixology class at the bar while you're getting your drink. Imagine going to pick up a cigar, but it's an actual cigar rolling station. Think about wandering entertainment versus a band that is stationary. These all are things that immerse your guests in this experience and this feeling rather than just the standard go-to that has been around for a long time. All right, our last trend for the day, you guessed it, photography. And this has been something that shifts and changes almost every year. This year, we're seeing couples move more and more into capturing authentic moments as they unfold versus them being forced and posed. Instead of having the massive list of every combination that's possible, we're seeing more candid capturing of the day. In addition to that, we're seeing more and more first looks with all of our couples versus just simply the one or two here and there. And if you're interested in more about what a first look is and how you can incorporate that in your wedding, check in the show notes below. We have a link for you guys there. In addition to that, we're seeing that couples are wanting little highlight, highlight reels of their day with videography versus the massive cinematic video of 6 a.m. at dawn all the way until folks leave at the end of the day. We're also seeing a huge insurgence of drone footage and drones being used not only for videography, but also for capturing these amazing photography stills of couples laying in fields or um, the wide expanse of, say, a mountain if they're getting married there. And in regards to the editing style for photography, we're seeing less and less of the 70s orange grungy look as we move more and more into authenticity on the wedding day and the images being captured in the way that the bride envisioned and planned her day to be. If it's dark and moody, it's captured that way. If the lighting is light, bright, and airy, it's captured that way. It's being authentic to who you are and what you intended the day to be like. So knowing your wedding trends is just a portion of this whole process and being organized 
is another one of them. So we have for you a wedding day checklist to make your planning stress-free. So go ahead and go to the show notes below and get your own copy of that wedding day checklist. If you'd like more wedding bridal tips just like this, then make sure you head to that playlist. And as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new content when it comes out. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.